Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with Shrintha materials in the topic of combined direct and bending stress. So the problem is a short column of halo cylinder 6 and 25 cm outer diameter and 15 cm inside diameter carries a vertical load of 400 kN. Along one of the dia planes 10 cm away from the axis of column, find the extreme intensities of stresses and state their nature. So this is the problem. So the given value is uh, first thing is external diameter, external dia capital D equal to 25 centimeter then internal dia internal dia small d equal to 15 centimeter so now uh, we can convert into meter that is 0 0.25 meter so this is 0 0.15 meter so then uh, W is also given W equal to 400 kilo Newton then uh, the eccentricity also given so that, that is uh, the plane 10 centimeter away from the axis of column so that is E equal to 10 centimeter that is 0 0.1 meter so we have to find out the uh, intensities of stresses that is uh, maximum and minimum so sigma max and sigma minimum so these are all the given so now the solution now the solution sigma max the formula is uh, sigma d plus sigma b so that is uh, direct stress and bending stress so for that direct stress sigma d equal to w by a that is load by area so that is load by area so first we have to find out the area so area uh, area equal to so we know pi by 4 into d square so this is halo cylinder so pi by 4 into capital d square minus small d square so now we can substitute pi by 4 into so in centimeter uh, we know 25 square minus 15 square so equal to we got the value of uh, 314.2 centimeter square so we can convert into meter so 314.2 into 10 power minus 4 meter square so that is a area so we can substitute over here so that is a 400 kilo newton and divided by 314.2 into 10 power minus 4 so that is uh, 12.73 into 10 power 3 kilo newton per meter square so this is a we got the value of uh, sigma d that is a direct stress after that we going to find out the bending stress say sigma b so sigma b we you know the formula is w into e divided by z so now uh, now z equal to i by y so we know the formula so i we can find out i equal to pi by 64 into d square minus small d square so now pi by 4 into so the capital d is uh, in meter 0 0.25 power 4 capital d power 4 minus small d power 4 so 0 0.25 uh, power 4 minus 0 0.15 power 4 Solving this, we got the value of uh, 1.668 into 10 power minus 4 meter power 4. So this is the value, uh, I value we got that. So then y equal to, we know uh, y equal to d by 2. So that is uh, 25 divided by 2, so that is uh, 0 0.25 divided by 2, that is uh, 0 0.125 meter. Okay, so we can substitute uh, the values over here. So I equal to 1.668 into 10 power minus 4 divided by 0 0.125. So for that Z value, we got the Z value of uh, 1.335 into 10 power minus 3 meter cube. So this is a Z value, we got that. Okay, so then sigma b we can substitute all the values. So sigma b equal to 400 into eccentricity is given that is 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 divided by z value is 1.335 into 10 power minus 3. So the bending stress sigma b value we got uh, 29.96 into 10 power 
3 kilo newton per meter square so this is a bending stress value and uh, this is a direct stress value so from that we can find out the sigma max and sigma minimum so we find out sigma d value is uh, that is direct stress equal to 12.73 into 10 power 3 kilo newton per meter square and bending stress sigma b equal to uh, we have the uh, value of 29.96 into 10 power 3 kilo newton per meter square so now the uh, maximum stress uh, sigma max equal to sigma d plus sigma b so that is uh, 12.73 into 10 power 3 plus 29.29 into 10 power 3 okay so sigma max equal to uh, 42.69 into 10 power 3 kilo newton per meter cube so this is a positive uh, direction so positive value so it, it will be compression so now we find out sigma minimum value so that is sigma d minus sigma b so that is 12.73 uh, into 10 power 3 minus 29.96 into 10 power 3 kilo newton per meter square. So we got the value of minus 17.23 into 10 power 3 kilo newton per meter cube. So that is sigma minimum value. So this is a negative sign so it will be tension. So this is a method we can solve the synthermetrics problem. Again we will see in next video.